Rocket Knight Adventures. Welcome back, y'all. Alright, let's get going here. <clears throat> that Sparkster, an awesome possum. And he's facing the evil Pin King. That's what I call him. I don't know what he is. <laughs> Stage one, Rocket Knight. Yeah, there was no fancy names for these stages. It just bluntly said stage one. <clears throat> and here we go! Sparkster, the main protagonist of the game. And you're facing pig soldiers. And if you look at the background right there, there's this giant spider destroying the castle. Remember that. They'll come to play later. There you go. They're coming out of the background trying to kill me here. <laughs> like how they run to their boxers and smash into the wall. It's pretty funny. Here's a thing I love about this game. There's constant you enemies that thrown at you. Like these guys here in the car, you never see them again, so... Yeah. Little interesting thing for you to note. I remember when I was playing this as a child, I, mean, I think it was six or seven, not really much of a child, but... I had a lot of problem. I mean, I, I had a lot of problem. I had a lot of problems with this game because I just wasn't used to the mechanic of this whole charge up meter and launch yourself uh, at specific angles to get past certain obstacles. I was so used to Sonic, where it's just a jump button, and this game like introduces, you know, yeah, you can charge up your attack and destroy stuff, so I was not used to it as a kid. And I remember I had so much troubles, but uh, now, yeah, this is pretty easy for me. I mean, I've beaten this game hundreds of times, I'd say. Okay, maybe dozens of times. Hundreds is over-exaggerating. Like here, I used to get stuck all the time. I'd just, <laughs> I'd be like, how do, how do I get past this? And it was always hard for me to shoot at, uh, you know, that specific angle. But now it's, you know, piece of cake. Get a one-up right here. Keep going. Just keep going right. Very easy. And surprise pig attack. Kill them all. Fuck you guys. I hate you. Oh boy. Music stops. Sub boss. Pick tank. Really easy boss. Then I get hit. Just fire yourself right behind him and just spam your attack. Just keep hitting him. You have to actually shoot at the pig, by the way. So you have to jump and hit. There you go. And his second phase. Bridge collapses. And we're fighting in the water. How sweet is this? Ugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. There you go. Get wrecked. Really not hard. <laughs> really basic too. And I'm getting killed. So here's a uh, pretty cool. You touch this lantern here. And you're fully charged. I love the music of this area. That music's just so good. I don't know why. I remember I used to sing to it all the time as a kid. I don't remember what I used to sing, but I used to make up my own lyrics. And after destroying these enemies, oh, one more there, something's headed our way. A dragon serpent. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him as much as you can. Best way to hit him is right on the top here, and then you just duck down if you're if you want to do it safely. But you know how I roll, I roll recklessly, and we're in the castle, in that castle that we saw in the background. We have a friend waiting for us on top. I bet you know who it is. <laughs> I like this. These pigs with their butts on fire running at you, aimlessly. Just just hit them once, and they will go flying. I like how the flame flies away out of their butts as well. Like. You destroy the flame. Here, just ricochet off the walls. Follow the pattern. Very easy. There you go. Yeah. Fire attack. Just just hide under here. I mean, it, it tells you where the attack's gonna come, so you could easily dodge it. Like, you know, you could jump over it. Right there. Just jump over it. Really not hard. Oh, another, again. It's just, I think, three phases and it's done. There you go. It's done. We're, we're at the door. I always used to look back as a kid. I was like, what was that? What did this? It's probably 
something to do with the boss. Who knows? Not everything's explained. But, uh, you know, the, the great thing about this game is because of these constant new things happening, um, it, it, it feels cinematic. There's always these new phases to each stage. New bosses, new enemies. It's just a great game for its time. And I think it's... I mean, not a lot of people know about it. This game did have uh, a few sequels. Um, it had Sparkster, which was on the Genesis, and Sparkster on the Super Nintendo. But they both were completely different games. Starting the same character, though. And... Surprise! Like how he's jumping in victory. Yeah, <laughs> I beat you. Hey, guess what? Fuck you. Let's jump up here. Oh, I wonder what's that in the background. I wonder what it is. And we're at the first main boss of the area. It's a spider pig. It looks like a centipede. I always thought it was a centipede as a kid, but remember what I told you about the background? Yeah. So now he's going to start... Uh, his attacks are really simple. He's going to start throwing these little spiders. Just stay on one side. Because if you go on the other side, I'll show you. Look. They're going to follow you on this side, so you're going to have enemies on all sides, which is not a good way to do it. It becomes more annoying to dodge. See what I mean? So just stay here and get that red one, and he's going to go to his second phase. His arms are going to come from the side. You can also use your charge attack here. Hit him, and you'll bounce right back to safety. Bang. Really not a hard boss at all. Bang. There you go. Blah. Fuck you. There you go. First boss gone. We beat the first area of the game. I hope you've enjoyed so far. Next time we go to stage two of Rocket Knight Adventures. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. And... There he goes. Try next area. I like this little cinematic here. <laughs> Sounds stupid. And that's Sparkster's nemesis. I think his name's Axel or something like that. I don't remember their names. He jumps away. <laughs> With the princess, of course. I like that big rocket blimp zeppelin pig thing. <laughs> 